everyone. Welcome to another episode of the No, Game it's a mini sode. Oh, it's a mini sode. Okay. Okay, because it's not a real episode. All right. Right? No. No, no, no. We can. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Sorry. Fine. We don't want anyone to know that we have no idea what we're talking about. Okay. Great. Fine. Start over. This is my co-host John Davidson. <laughs> Hello. But I have been informed it's not a real episode. It's a mini-sode. I don't know. That was just the way I, I um, referred to it. Because this isn't our normal schedule. So we're just doing an impromptu today. And uh, so what do we have going on? Well, if you've been listening to us for a couple of years, you'll know that I really stink at gadgets <laughs> and that you know every gadget in the entire world. That is true. So I got a gadget yesterday and somebody had no idea what it was. I have never heard of it. I've it is a it. electric throffer. Is that the word? Throffer. And uh, the reason I bought it is because uh, we've talked uh, quite a few times about uh, keto chow and how I really loved their chicken soup. Mm-hmm. Well, they were out of stock for a while, and they got back in stock recently, and I don't know if you ordered this last, but I thought this would be a perfect time because you got a personal, uh, uh, whatever, what are we, what's it called, a recommendation from uh, the owner of the company. So what, what did she say? It's better if you put butter in it? Yes. Yeah, so... We, so we are... Probably doing too many things at once because we're going to try my throther for the first time. It's a heating throther too, and then we're going to try the butter. And I used as the base some bone broth that I made that seemed kind of weak. Okay. So it's so, like a triple kind of. Okay, so just to summarize here, we're doing chicken soup that is actually from Keto Chow. It's their yep. savory kitchen soup, which by yep. the way, is phenomenal. So if you haven't tried it, try it and I'll put a link in show notes. Okay. It's great. So they've got a new update to their bag and it says add fat source, butter, oil, heavy cream, and they added the butter this time. Yeah. So this will be our first and uh, I've probably already got the hot water, so I just need a scoop, a scoop of this, and I think we are ready to give this a shot. Okay, so your your ingredients, we're using the Keto Chow's savory chicken. Yep. We are putting in butter yep. as our fat source, plus heavy cream as plus a fat source. Cream. Do you know how much of each of those you put in? <laughs> Did you just throw it in? <laughs> okay. No rest. Go, go ahead. Tell it. Go ahead, go ahead now. Um, and then for the water, instead of water, you are trying, you actually are putting it in bone my, broth. My, my, uh, yeah, I, okay. I make bone broth, so I use my own bone broth. Is it chicken bone broth or beef bone broth? Yes. Both? It has both right. in it. Okay. So anyway, if you're going to go okay. all out, go all out, right? All right, so, so in case you're wondering what all the rattle all is, um, he's opening the bag of the savory chicken soup. Okay, and so I already have a fail because I can't get this powder in there without... There's can you pour some room. more in it? Pour some more out. Can you pour some back in here? Golly, this makes for great radio. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right, yeah, I can pour yeah, some out. Just, you might okay. Yeah. All right, why am I pouring this out? Why don't you tell me what this author does? There's a couple different options, and I don't know which one to pick. Okay, so the function is a hot frothing, which gives you dense foam. We have hot frothing with airy foam. We have hot milk and cold milk frothing. Well, I don't want cold. So for, I think we should do the airy foam and not a dense foam because it's soup. So we want a maximum capacity of 125 milliliters. I, 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 okay, so John, just so you all know, John is not measuring anything except maybe the scoop of chicken soup. <laughs> um, all right. And then it says that the time is going to be 55 to 105 seconds. All right. So. <laughs> and we have no idea how loud this is either, right? No idea. So if okay, so, you hear us, then we'll edit that part out. Yeah. We'll be through the magic of whatever. All right, so you have to tell me, what do I button press? Um... You know, this could be this could turn out to be really. Oh, don't worry. If you don't hear this, then you you know it turned out badly. Do you have the whisk it. inside of it? 
Yeah, it came with okay, the so you uh, Press once the red light and the orange light. Red and orange. They both went on. Okay. Press twice the red light. Wait, press twice the red light. Oh, so press twice and it will the red light will be for the airy frost. Okay, so I've already screwed up, huh? Yeah, well, it's off. because I should have read this before I started right. reading right. it to you. Resetting, turning it off, turning it back on by unplugging it. Yeah, do, do you, and press do you, twice, and it'll give you the hot, airy froth. All right, there we go. It's rolling. So, I think we might have to, uh, what did you say the time frame was that? Uh, 55 to 105 seconds. 55 seconds. So, the reason why I wanted to do this is because... Uh, I I talk about yeah, it's supposed to okay. it's supposed to so the reason why I wanted to do this is because uh, I've been experimenting with a few different things personally and this is a uh, great emergency meal so I thought man if I could so is this something you're going to keep at your desk yeah 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 I'm going to keep it at my desk so so here's the thing is for me I didn't uh, I've been drinking the chicken soup lukewarm. Not even lukewarm. Like a, I have a spoon, maybe. Do I have a spoon? Well, as it heats up, that stuff will melt, right? Well, don't you think? I don't think it, your powder is not going in. Please it. explain to me what the problem is. The powder is so not I'm going in. It through the clear lid. So it is stirring your liquid, and it does appear that your uh, butter is starting to melt. So yes, right. I, th I think that's sitting on top. I think the powder is sitting on top of more of butter. Okay. I think as the butter melts, it'll fall in. What do you think? I don't know. Maybe. It's starting right, to we'll steam see. up the lid already, too. We'll see. It's quite the contraption. Yeah, we'll I might put, have we'll to go a, buy a new we'll gadget. We'll put a link in, link in the show notes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. What, you're going to ask me what kind it is and stuff, and I got no idea. So why it's finishing its uh, liquidiness. And I have the instructions, but I also have no idea. It is a very known, well-known brand of Chef's Star. I've never heard of it. <laughs> and currently, right now, it's for sale for $40. So that, on Amazon? I did not pay $40. That is on Amazon. So it must have been on sale. Yeah, since I'm, I will have to check this out. I just have to be honest because okay, I've got a not very many gadgets. I've got a I light don't. blinking. It's a red light. My red light's blinking. I think it shut off. Okay, no, no, no. Um, okay, it says the red light will flash thirty seconds when it when it finished frothing. Oh, it did not finish. Rejected. Okay, so maybe you have to. Maybe it does it for 30 seconds at a time, and you have to do it. Wow, uh, that makes this device a big fail. All right, well, I went ahead and... Maybe we should actually, like, read the instructions fully before we started using it. That may have helped. No, no, that would be way too. Well, you know what? So let's go with this. I'm guessing that this thing is designed to work in a uh, different... I don't... Maybe it's not designed to work for this... What I'm doing? Well, it, I don't know. I mean... The red light's blinking. Okay, well, hold on. Let's actually read the instructions and see why the... Okay, so let's go ahead and pause this so you guys aren't waiting. All right, so after consulting the instructions and deciding that the person must not have English as their primary language... <laughs> Our conclusion is that it's either too thick, too thick for the frother, or it's uh, or it's not doing enough. Because what we did is we well, ran it twice. Hot. I can see steam. Oh, it's definitely hot. I mean, it's doing what it's supposed to be doing. I think it it didn't have enough frothiness, and it's super thick. So I don't know if it's the butter or the the what whatever. Well, I mean, in gen have you made this chicken soup before? Yeah. Okay, so I felt like, I haven't done the chicken soup, but I've done the other, um, and I feel like cream in them makes it extremely thick anyway. Yes. So the, I mean, I think the premise of it is a thick-based 
Uh -huh. um, and I think that it's too much, too thick for the machine to stir it and get the vortex of stirring. Yeah, so maybe we should have stirred yeah. the powder in it first. Yeah, I think in hindsight we learned that. Um, so, all right, um, it is, you ready to give it a shot? So just to, just to recap, we ran it a couple times. We never did get the chunk out. So I just took a plastic spoon and I stirred it in there. Oh, ho, ho, ho. there you go. I'm going to try it. Just and, and then so you can get the mental picture. You're drinking it out of an actual glass, but I only had one glass, so I'm just going to drink it out of the side of the container. Okay, this smells delicious. I will tell you. Oh, man, that is fantastic. I can smell the oh. frost. Wow, that is good. We, I'm. This is a, This is going to be a staple for me. Okay, so if you have ever had their uh, savory, savor, savory chicken, um, I have the last few times I've had it, it's been I was just trying to get get warm water out of the cafeteria and, and just put it in a shaker bottle. This is way better at doing that. Out of so the yeah, but, so the I butter, I really like the it. butter. Yeah, I've only had it at KetoCon. So the Keto Chow people made it as samples, which I loved. I'm not sure that they had butter in it then. I feel like they didn't. It was just cream. And yeah, and that's why Miriam, uh, when I when I talked to her about ordering, uh, she gave me the hint that uh, or the tip that we should use the butter in as our as our fat base. I have to tell you, this is very rich. Um, it is very, very good. I wonder if there's you, a lot of flavor in here. I feel like, and I'm, I think that might have come from your bone broth. Yes. So that's a really good tip for somebody who's wanting to do this and use this as a, a soup base, which is what my intent is to make a soup for my husband and I to eat. With this as the base, but this is really good, John. Okay, so I don't know about you, but do you like? So I stirred it with a spoon. So there is like, I call it dumplings. Little There's like little teeny chunks of, I'm sure it's the savory chicken base. It is. But it's like little teeny dumplings. Well, I have to tell you, I have one on the side. Oh. I have not. Oh, do you want the spoon? Come in. I haven't, I haven't licked the spoon. Mine is stuck on the side, so it's All right. Going. So. I don't think this is probably the device you should buy. You can um, you can put a link to it in, in the show notes anyway. Or it's just I would quite. say that if you have made this, if you stirred it and mixed it at home, and you are bringing it to the office and you need to just heat it for lunch, this is probably a good device because I think it would do the trick for you. This did heat it. Yeah, um, it's nice and warm. Yeah. I don't think it has the power of stirring like... An immersion blender would give you. Oh yeah, no way. But it's, it's, if if you want to put it in your mind, those little teeny throffers like that they sell, that's just like a little stick throffer. You've got to have one, right? I do at my desk. Okay. Yeah, it's just one of those in the bottom. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't think that it, it's a good device to mix it for sure. But if you're needing something to heat your food at the office, this actually would be very good. And I may or may not be going to go ahead and order one and have one at my desk. All right. Well, hey, then check the show notes because if there's another one, it might be the, a better one because this one I don't think is probably the way to go, especially at $40. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think that's a bad price. And, again, if you're going to mix this at home and have it mixed, have the, have the powder mixed up, and then just use this to heat at the office, I think it's a good office desktop device to do just that. And it was not very loud. No. We thought we would have to maybe mute this to record it. And yeah, we no, we didn't hear it at all, actually. So you could very well sit it next to your keyboard in the office, be heating your lunch, and not disrupt your work or your coworkers. So given the fact that, uh, given the fact that uh, there is pretty rich, do you think we, that if you use bone broth as a base, you should use half the amount of the powder? Um, no. I think it's the cream and the butter mix. 
that's making it thicker. Oh, yeah. I don't think your bone broth would have been much thicker than than water. Oh, no, it's pretty ge- gelatinous. Is that Was it? Yeah. yeah, gelatinous. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it could have been. I mean, out of the, out of the refrigerator, it's gelatinous. So. All right, well, anyway. Yeah. I don't, I like it. Um, I probably would thin it a little bit with some water. Which we couldn't do and fit it in this container. Right. But again, if you mix all this at home and you're just using this container to heat, um, I, I think you'd get your money's worth out of this. But if I were going to use this as a, as a soup base, I probably would thin it. Because for me, like right now, and I don't know, I maybe had a fourth of a cup. Um, I've taken about half of it, and it's pretty filling to me. Yeah. Um, so I don't know, for, for me, because this is my intent, was to use it as a base and to maybe actually put some chicken chunks in it. Um, I think it might be a little bit too thick for what I was in, envisioning using it for, but... All right. Definitely got a great flavor. All right. Well, I definitely am glad I did it. So, we'll have to oh, and let me check because this was on sale, ten percent off for the chicken soup. Uh, it, was. it was after we bought it, though. Oh, after we bought it. So, hey, good news is that you. Yeah, that's why I want to double check on the um, which ones are on sale right now because I think they do it weekly. They rotate what's on sale? Yeah. And it's 10% is their discount, so that would be a good um, a good discount for you if I can find it. So what else do we have going on, John? We might as well talk about what... Uh, oh, no, no I think we save everything for our actual episode. This is just a mini- mini-sode. Well, it is, but I'm trying to find this info for them. So you're trying to do filler, and I'm just not picking up the hint? Right. Okay. He, he's just not picking up my hint. That is true. No, I'm too busy enjoying this. I uh, made some more. Okay, well, I cannot find it. Oh, here it is. Flavor of the week, September the 24th through September 30th. Today is the 26th. So still is for sale? It's, uh, there's still a few days. Oh, sweet. Left to, on, this so. means you have to publish this fast, though, you realize. Yeah. I'll, I'll try to get it out tonight. Um, so, yeah, so there'll be a couple of days, and we'll put the link in, but it's 10% off the savory chicken. So I say rush out and get it because it is it actually is really good. And since John tries to con me into making lots of stuff for him, I may con him into making bone broth for me. His tastes much better than mine. Oh, it's a pain in the ass. I'm not going to lie. But you know what? Let's talk about that. This is a great segue into our actual episode, which is we're going to talk about uh, feeding our dogs. Yeah. You make your own dog food. That's, I do not, but um, I buy the premium stuff at Costco, but um, I do add some stuff to it, so I can't wait to talk through that. So neither one of us really knows. You've mentioned you make your own, so but yeah. we're going to go into details uh, next episode, so stay tuned. Yeah, so you know, for those of you who... I mean, you listen to us, but John and I really don't know a lot of personal things about each other. We talk about keto and fitness and that sort of thing, but we don't really talk a lot about personal stuff. So we like to it might it seem show. Weird. Yeah, it might seem weird that we don't really know that kind of stuff about each other, but we really well, don't. Well, it's a weird, uh, weird relationship when you say, ooh, hey, don't tell me anything. Let's talk about it on the air. Right, right. Which makes us sound cooler than we really are. <laughs> and yeah. we do that all the time. So. Works for me. All right, guys. Again, go pick up some keto chow chicken soup because it's, it is really the bomb.